today with me I have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 running the latest One UI 6.1.1 you can see here and today I'm going to show you how to install it on your device so first thing that we need to do is unlock the bootloader so to do that we need to go to software information and we should go to build number and tap it seven times until we see it showing that you got developer options and there should be a menu called developer option then uh, in here there will be an option called OEM unlocking it's not there for me but you can find it here in the stop section so you should check that option and then we can start with the unlocking process so first we need to turn off our tablet so we can do that it's asking me for my pin okay so now we can confirm that the tablet is off and we should also have a cable connected as you can see here the cable should be able to do data transfer and it doesn't matter the speed so wait I need to disconnect it so the screen can go so one more second now the tablet is completely off so I can plug in the cable and immediately press and hold the volume up and volume down button and we should be greeted with this screen so what should we do first we should first uh, to unlock the bootloader we should press and hold the volume up button and now we should uh, see this it's asking me to lock the bootloader because I have already unlocked it but if you want to unlock the bootloader it will you should hit volume up but as I have already unlocked the bootloader I am going to hit volume down so after this the uh, phone the tablet will be factory resetted completely and all the data will be erased and you'll also lose your warranty if you have one so i can do that and now i should boot back into odin odin mode So now we should be greeted with this screen where we can just uh, press the volume up button once and now it will enter download mode. So now we can head over to my computer. I'm running macOS so I have a windows windows over here and inside the windows uh, first I'll check if it's plugged in yeah. So inside windows I should open Odin and as you can see here it is connected you can download Odin extract it and then open it so now that we're inside Odin we should install the recovery which you can use to install this custom ROM so for that we can click on AP go to downloads and I'll search for my thing it will be called PBRP all of these are available inside my link that I'll keep in the description. So we should open this, which is BBRP. And now I can just click on, let's go to options and let's untick auto reboot. So it will make us make it a little easier to enter the recovery. So now I can just hit start. And now it's installing the recovery. And the recovery is installed. You'll see this green pass box here. So now we should press and hold the power button and the volume down button for 7 seconds. After this it will turn off and we should press and hold the power button and volume up button. Until we see the screen then we can just press the power button once and You'll know if you install it properly if you see that red thing 
and here we go we are inside the pbrp this is our recovery so for the tab s7 plus devices this will go as pwrp and the steps are almost the same so first we should i'll make it like this so that you can see the screen better um so first we should head over to wipe we go to advanced and we'll select or it will be better if we just format the data so format and then we should type yes and now we should yeah we should be done and now the data is completely formatted uh, don't worry with all of these these are normal as we don't have data encryption just yet and now it's formatted uh, we can go to we can first go to the computer here and we should download something from the web which i have forgotten to do previously i can also show you how to download the rest of it now so on google i can just search you unica tab s7 and here we go and i can go to my first page that's me and here i can go to the downloads head over to my source forge link it's pretty straightforward everything is organized and we can go to tab s7 which is my device uh, we can go to extras and here we can find the super dot image we will need Okay, now start downloading. Okay, so my super dot image is downloaded here. So we need, as we don't have the proper like uh, description of the software, uh, we will need to use platform tool. So I've downloaded it here, but you don't really need to do that. Uh, you need to do that but i don't need to do that as i have already installed it yeah uh, i can open that and inside this folder after you extract platform tools inside the platform tools folder you should click on the search bar delete all this and type cmd this will open a cmd window inside that folder now we can check if adb is connected or not so we can do adb devices to check and now it will start checking uh, we should allow and as you can see it's connected in recovery so now i can turn it on and what we need to do is we need to type adb push um, adb push and then we can go to the file explorer and go to downloads and then we can push the super.img to the tablet okay and then after you put that in we should also do slash sd card so that it goes directly to the sd card not the SD card, uh, for some reason the internal storage is called the SD card. So, yeah. And now it's showing that the file was pushed successfully. So now back on the tablet, we go to install and then as you can see here the super.img is here. So over here it will ask some options for what to do and we should click on super system product vendor ODM wipe the flash and now it will say image flash complete so now we can go back to home and now we are ready to actually install it so for that we should go to advanced roll up a little and there's a thing called adp side load then we should wipe uh, the dalvik cache and the standard cache and swipe to the adp side load so now adb side load is started we can check again by going to adb devices and it's in side load mode so adb 
type load you should type this in go back to the folder and now i had already downloaded the file beforehand so i go to u u and one a uh, there are two versions for the 5g and the standard i have the wi-fi model so i'm going to take this one and yeah so adb side load and for gts 7l wi-fi you should check the model number and you should download the correct file and then we can just hit enter so as you can see on the tablet now the it has started and this will take some time so i'll just jump cut to when it's done so jump cut and we are done so the installation took about 903 seconds so it will take some time you should probably sit back and drink a coffee and inside windows we can see that it failed at 47 percent it shows that uh, as adp failed to read command no error and this is completely fine as it still installs and still boots even though it says that it failed on the computer on the tablet it says that it's completed so now we can press on reboot system and the tablet turned off i can put this back like this now and we should see yeah so now we sh can see the samsung tab s7 and on the top you can see here it says that your tablet is not running samsung's official software so this for this tablet now has the latest one ui 6.1.1 february security patch it takes just a few more minutes to boot now it has successfully booted and we can see the nice welcome screen of one ui 6.1.1 so now i have set it all up and i'll just show you how it looks so as you can see it is pretty smooth and fast and all the ai features work as well so like circle to search works nice and i can also do the drawing assistant And if we go to the settings, if we go to Galaxy AI, we can see all of these here. Great. And if we go to about tablet, you can see it shows up as tab S7. Go to software info and it's getting the latest uh, first February security patch and it's based on the tab s8 ultra firmware so that's pretty much it uh, hope you like the video and I'll see you next time